welcome to this week's vlog. Um, so today on the vlog, I, I wanted to kind of talk about something that's been on my mind for a little while, um, and that is my philosophy of taking time to make time. I wanted to kind of talk about how I find time in my day to do all the things that I do, because I will admit that I'm a busy person. I do have a lot going on between my business and my family and my YouTube channel, my hobbies and interests and things like that. It's, it, it's, it's a lot. Um, but I have a very kind of set strategy, I guess you would call it. I don't know, like a routine maybe? Um, that I do in order to make sure that I have enough time to spread myself out. So the, the four things that I do, um, all of them start with a P, so hopefully that will help you remember them. Uh, and I'm gonna go through those four things just to kind of, I guess, share with you what I do and why and I don't know, maybe you'll find it helpful. So the first P, <laughs> this is gonna make me laugh every time I am so immature. The first P is plan. I have an Erin Condren life planner. This is what I use religiously every week to plan out my week. And the first thing that everybody says when they see this planner and they see the extent to which I kind of go about decorating it and designing it and everything, they always say, ah, I just don't have time to do that. And the truth is it does take time. You know, it takes me probably about an hour every Sunday night to sit down and plan um, and now to be fair I do a lot of kind of decorating and stickers and washi tape and all that stuff that you don't have to do but that's not actually what takes up the main part of my time for planning um, the main kind of thing that I'm spending time on is really getting my mind around what is going to be the sort of main focus of each day so on any given day I have um, household responsibilities and I have business responsibilities related to the sensible mama and those two things have to be juggled with my toddler running around and one thing that I'm kind of prone to do if I'm not careful is I will wake up on Monday morning and I see the laundry needs to be done and the diapers need to be stuffed and I have a million orders that need to be packed and the kitchen surfaces are dirty and I, I just panic and what I start doing if I don't have a plan is I just walk around the house like a zombie starting uh, on one project and then getting distracted by something else and running and starting that project and I never get anything done and it's all because I feel obligated to tackle all of it in one day and that's really not healthy um, and it's also a pretty big waste of time because what I end up doing is starting a million projects and I never finish any of them. I actually have a bigger mess by the end of the day than I had when I started. So you want to talk about being defeated and deflated, like that will do it. So when I sit down to plan each week, what I do is I really think about um, chores around the house that have to get done, obligations that I have related to family or my business, and I plan them out for my week. I will say on Sunday night, mm, I still have plenty of clean cloth diapers. I'm gonna plan on washing the diapers on Wednesday. So when Monday rolls around and I see that there are diapers in the dirty diaper pail and I have that kind of like itch to just go wash them, I can look at my planner and I can say, I don't have to worry about that today because I'm taking care of that on Wednesday. When I look at my dirty bathtub or our kitchen counter being crusted with jelly and peanut butter and I wanna clean it, I say, nope, I scheduled that already. I'm dealing with that tomorrow. So it can sit here for a day. I'll get to it tomorrow. When you don't have a plan, you don't really know when you're going to get to those things. And when you don't know when you're going to get to them, you kind of start questioning if you're going to get to them. So planning, actually sitting down and deciding what tasks I'm gonna do each day in advance on Sunday night, just really buys me so much time. It's so rewarding to sit down, pour a glass of tea or a glass of wine, decorate your planner, plan out the week, you'd be amazed how much less stressed you feel at the end of it, knowing that you have a game plan for the week and you can just, just trust in your plan. The second P, oh man. The second P is prepare. Um, and this one is not gonna be as long-winded as the last one. Prepare is pretty simple. It just means that whenever I can, I try to prepare things in advance. So the one thing that I'm very religious about that I make sure I do every night, no matter how tired I am before I go to bed, is to totally clean up my kitchen. Now I don't mean I'm in there with the rubber gloves on, you know, deep cleaning surfaces and like cleaning out my disposal. All I mean is I take all the clutter, I make sure all the dishes are in the dishwasher and I've started the dishwasher. I make sure that my surfaces are 
declutterified and that everything is put away in its place, I go ahead and put out my coffee mug and everything so that when I wake up in the morning, I have a fresh start. Um, I don't know about you working moms, but I have an office uh, in my house, but I tend to use my kitchen and my living room more often. That tends to be where my toddler is. I can keep an eye on him because it's a nice open space. So I'm usually at my kitchen table working, and if my kitchen is a mess, I'm just never in the right frame of mind to get any work done. I just like keep looking at the mess and I feel like I have to go clean it. So preparing anything that I can in advance, like usually the night before after my son goes to bed, it just makes my life so much easier. The next P is something that will be relevant to some of my viewers and not as relevant to others. I'm a Christian and so for me, one of the important P's in my life for uh, saving time and making sure I can do everything that I need to do is prayer. And this is another one of those things that even as Christians we often find ourselves saying, man, I wish I could do some Bible time, I wish I could do my devotional, I wish I could pray more, but I just don't have time for it. And I have been guilty of that so bad, you know, like once my son was born it was like my Bible time was the last thing on my mind. But in the recent months I really started realizing that you know what, I think my day isn't going great because I'm not checking in with God. I'm not spending time connecting with Him and connecting with His Word and praying and just accessing that connection to my Creator that, that He wants me to have with Him. So I do now make an effort to spend time in the Word every single day. Um, part of my planning routine is actually setting up my Bible study planner. This is where I kind of pick a short scripture that I'm going to read each day. Like right now I'm going through Matthew and I usually read one chapter or two chapters if they're short. And then I have just kind of a process for journaling my thoughts. And you know, doing this, even though it takes a little bit of time and there are some mornings where I'm like, oh, can I just skip it? Um, it's amazing how different my day is. Martin Luther is kind of famous for something that he said about prayer. He said, uh, and I paraphrase, but basically, I have so much to do that there is no way that I could get it all done without at least three hours of prayer a day. And that sounds counterintuitive to us because we think if I spent three hours praying, God knows I would get zero things done, like nothing on my list would get done. But I've tried to apply some of this wisdom from Martin Luther and, and say to myself, like, all right, I am probably not going to spend three hours um, a day in prayer. My vocation is different than Martin Luther's was, <laughs> you know, I don't, like I haven't devoted my life to prayer the way that he did. So uh, what I can do though is I can say, all right, I'm going to spend time in prayer every morning and I'm going to pray intentionally. I'm going to pray for the things that I need today to help me get through the day and get through everything that I need to get done. So some of the things that I pray for are pretty straightforward. I'll tell God, just give me enough hours in the day to do what I need to do. Give me focus today so that I'm not spreading myself all over the place. Give me a positive attitude about my work today. And also give me a positive attitude about my kid because those two things kind of, they go together <laughs> on most days. And I've really found that even more important than praying for time um, is praying for attitude. When I pray for God to give me the right attitude toward my work and toward my day, I find that I get things done and with a happy heart and a cheerful heart and one full of thanks instead of one that's full of resentment and anxiety and stress. That's something that I think is super important for me in terms of getting everything I need to get done, done. And the last thing for me in terms of getting my stuff done is <laughs> pardon. And the, what I really mean by pardon is grace. Giving ourselves grace to just not be perfect. I think that um, I, I've always been someone who struggled with the need for perfection, the need to do everything right, the need to be approved of by everyone, the need to just never do anything subpar. And that was admirable when I was younger, but now as a mom, it's just not, it's not possible anymore. One of the most important things that I have done for myself is giving myself permission to give myself grace. It means I pardon myself when I don't get everything on my checklist done. It means that when I'm not a perfect parent, I pardon myself. And 
what I have found is that it's amazing how much time I save in a day when I'm not spending every waking moment worrying about whether I'm living up to my own standards or worse, whether I'm living up to other people's standards of how I'm supposed to be. So you guys, that's basically it. Those are my four P's for productivity. Oh my God, even productivity has a P. <laughs> I'd love to hear how you are changing things up a little bit to be more productive. So if there's something that you wanna share with me, just leave it down in the comments. I will make sure to read it. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday and a great week ahead. And I'm just sending out just prayers of productivity to you this week. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.